I'm going to watch um, clips from, a clip from The Razor's Edge, 1984, with Bill Murray, and then Empire Falls um, with Ed Harris, and then Horror, the Ken Russell film from 1991, and we're going to stop after that clip. Home. Don't you want to go home? It's my home. I like it here. Right here in Coco's lap. It's the biggest, warmest lap in town. Why don't you just run along, Larry? We don't need you here. Nobody wants you here. Just wanna listen to music by moonlight. right about one thing. I don't really go after what I want, do I? <sighs> Miles, it's not like I don't know you've had this crush on me, like, uh, forever. <laughs> <laughs> you know how fond I am of you. You're about the sweetest man I know. You wanna know what? I'd like to take you home and make love with you. Except I... I couldn't stand how disappointed you'd be. And you wouldn't be able to conceal it either. Not with that face of yours. Well, the next time there's an impulse, let me know. I just might want to risk it. Handsome, isn't he? He's so smart. He's six now. Yeah, he's at that age where, well, you know, he's grown up and, well, if he was living with me, how would I explain it? I mean, I work at night, so you could say I got a night job, but then when I go to jail and I don't come home during the day, I mean, how do I explain that? Everybody says he's smart. I, I just like those three films in a row to show the diversity of your, of your the parts. But um, I think you said before that that the Ken Russell film horror was the most difficult role you've ever had, and, and clearly we're seeing a, a long monologue there. And I wondered if you could just talk about this film a little bit. And when you have a role that takes so much of a toll on you as an as a person, you know how how do you work your way through that? Uh, yeah, that was. Uh, that, even now, it's hard to watch. I, I don't know. There was monologue after monologue after monologue. I mean, just in terms of just pure technical stuff, it was, and I had to do them all to camera. And I was worried about being boring because so much of it was just me walking along on the street as a hooker, just do, and just talking constantly, just talking to the camera. So I got in there, I had a little bag, and so I got a bunch of props, like a yo-yo and silly stuff that I could play with in case the audience was bored. And I thought, well, maybe they could watch me play the yo-yo and stuff, I don't know. <laughs> and then I, had, I needed a, a, a girl, she helped me. I was like, okay, you just follow me around all day in between takes, and we'll, we're just going to learn tomorrow's monologues, you know, so... And Ken Russell is just, I adore him, but he's madder than hell, you know, <laughs> he just, he really is. And so that was interesting, but anytime you're doing a character like her that basically feels very bad about themselves, you know, I mean, I, that's the place where you've got to go. I mean, you have to understand what motivated her to do these things to herself and her body and to be who 
who she was. And so, you know, that's kind of, uh, as an actor, it's hard sometimes. You're just like, oh man, it's such a beautiful day. I just want to go in my garden and play with the dog. And oh, I gotta be like, okay, you're a piece of shit, and you're this, and you're that. You know, you gotta like work your way into it, and then go to work. You know, it's like, it's like, ah. That's just where you start when you wake up, and then you start thinking about the lines and all that. So it, it was just so tricky. I mean, it, also it came out around the same time as um, oh gosh, that what was the one with with um, Richard Gere and um, Pretty Woman, and so. A lot of people thought this was going to be really like a horny, hor you know, film, and I was like, "This is one of the least horny films you'll ever see." And it was like a perfect, you know, anecdote. It was like, your children, your girls, should go and see this film if you're thinking this is a career opportunity after seeing Pretty Baby. No, this really is what it's like. You know, it's it's awful out there, and you just really don't want to do that. And in fact, I got a little bit involved with Children of the Night and stuff because of that too. So I mean, it was kind of offensive that movie in that way after doing that I, you know it was just <laughs> I went to I would pay I one time I went to a coffee shop I paid a couple of hookers just to talk to them you know to ask them questions and things and man some of the things they told me you don't want to know <laughs> so yeah I think that's why because when I see it I don't see the work I just see how difficult it, it was on so many levels so, um, then what, to, working, what, Empire Falls, I don't know, what do you want? Oh, I, 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 I won't go through, I mean, oh, if you want to say anything about no, it. No, Ed no. Harris, how dreamy, I don't know. Married. And then after, and then after finishing a film like this, just one yeah. follow-up question. Um, are you in a funk for a while, or how yeah. do you, yeah. Yeah, that is, I forgot about that part. Um, <laughs> Some roles, yes. Some. I mean, I used to say to my kids and even my ex-husband, or who, I was like, I don't, I don't bring any any of it home. I think I just leave it all at work, and I come home, and I was like, Yeah, right, ma. <laughs> you know, they don't. It's you think you can, and you do. But yeah, so that one and bad timing. Certain ones they do take a while to slough sh off. You know, I. They, and they and what? Because you, I do anyway. I don't know if other actors have it, but. I start dreaming their dreams. So I'm dreaming in character. So when that starts happening, you're like, that's going pretty deep into your subconscious, right? I mean, it's like, ah. So yeah, it is sometimes it, I call them all my twisted sisters, and I love them all very much. And, but um, I have to put them to bed. 